Now you're given a question. Uh, you should uh, factorize. That's the question number 10, okay. right? Yeah. And exercise 12D. It says factorize x squared minus 8x minus 20. The first thing you do is you look for the you look for the values, I mean the factors, which when you add them together, you give you a negative eight. When you multiply them, it's gonna give you 20. Okay. Is that understood? Yes, and what did you use? I used four and five. No way. Four and five can never be eight. So the factors of eight could be one, could be two, could be four, could be five. I'm oh, sorry, five cannot go in eight. Huh? Well, they could be one, two, four. Well, Five. Can five go in eight? When you add it together, it's going to give you eight, eight. right? Okay. Let's try the factors of 20. Then five. Then what else? 10. Then 20. So now look at all of this. Which one, if we add them together, it's going to give you eight and multiply them, it's going to give you 20. Four and five. No way. Four and five is going to give you 20, but it's not going to give you eight. Let's try. It. Four plus five is nine. Four times five mm -hmm. is 20. And that's correct. But this is wrong. Yeah. So this is the way you think. If you want to solve a problem like this, you make sure you know what you're doing. And from here, I've been able to see the factor myself. The factors are two and 10. Did you see that? Uh -huh. Yeah, because negative 8x. You understand what I'm saying, huh? Yeah, negative 2. So you're going to say x squared, because it's negative 8, right? Yes. It's going to be negative, it's going to be negative 10. Negative 10 and what? And positive 2. It's going to be what? Negative 10 and positive 2. You know why? Because the question is in negative 20. Listen to me again. Let me explain this to you in more detail. <clears throat> whenever you want to factorize something, whenever you want to factorize something and you find uh, the one here, the addition is negative and the multiplication is negative, I told you, whenever the multiplication is negative, that is to say one of the values must be negative as a condition. But if it's positive, that is to say both are positive or both are negative. Now, for example, if you say 10 and 2, 10 minus 2 is 8, not equals to negative 8. And 10 times 2 equals 20, which is not equals to minus 20. Is that understood? Yes, so this is the reason you need to devise, you need to be very smart in selecting these. So if you want to take this, you would say 10, because we have negative eight, that is to say the biggest number is the one having the negative. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Because if you give to the negative, it's going to be positive eight. Yeah. You know, yeah. let me say 10 plus negative two is equals to 10 minus two. And that's going to be what, well, eight. So, but if you want to get a negative eight, you have to give the negative to, my, to the one to the 10, then it's going to be ne negative 10 plus what plus two, which is equal to two minus 10, it's equals to negative what, eight. Negative eight. Is understood? Yes, sure? Yeah. Good. So the next thing to do is you're going to say, okay, now you've been able to know what the factors are. It's going to be X, minus 10, right? Mm -hmm. Then x plus 2 mm -hmm. is a factor. <clears throat> That's number 10. Now let's try number 6. I'm going to do 2 for you, then you do the remaining yourself. <clears throat> Question number 6 in the same uh, 12b says x squared minus 2x <clears throat> minus 24. 
So the first thing you do, you write all the factors of 24 out. Look here, please. Can you try that? Attempt it. Let me see you do it. Can I, okay, let me do that. Let's do it again first. The factors of 24, they are one, two, three, four, six, eight, <clears throat> 12, and 24 itself. This is where your multiplication is going to work out. If you're not good at multiplication table, you cannot know the factors of 24 easily. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The factors of 24 are the numbers that can be divided, that are divisible, that can divide 24 without any remainder. The numbers mm -hmm. that can divide 24 without any remainder. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So you can go in 24, 12, 3 in 24, 8. Am I correct? Yeah. 4 in 24, 6. Yes. 6 in 24, 4, 8 in 24, 3, 12 in 24, 2, 24 in 24, 1. Is that understood? So you would say, now take a look at 24. What are the two things you're going to multiply together to give you 24? Well, you add it together, it's going to give you what? Negative 2. What are they? Think fast. These are all the factors. Yes. The first thing you think about is, what are the two numbers here that has a difference of two? Difference of two? Yes. Okay. That is to say, if you, if you subtract them from one another, it's going to give you two. Four and two. Hmm? Four and two. One, another one. Can four times two be 24? No. No way. Should okay. select another one. Another one? Uh, eight and six. Before eight and six, we have some other ones. That, has a, that have a difference of two. You said two and four. Mm -hmm. What about four and six? Six minus four is two. two. What about six and eight? Okay, let's try six. Let's try four and six first. Four and six is... Uh, four times six. It's 24. Uh, four uh, minus six. six is two. Negative two. Negative two. So which one are you going to give negative? Um, is it four or six? Six. Why six? Because it's the larger one. Excellent. So you're going to say, okay, the factors are negative 6 and positive 4. Is that understood? Mm -hmm. Here, 4 times negative 6 times 4 is negative 24. Negative 6 plus 4 is negative 2. Then you write your factors are x minus 6, x plus 4. Mohammed. So this, I've done this for you. Now do the remaining yourself. Now let's move on to the next slide. You, you understand this principle? Yeah. Okay. Now you're gonna do this for me. Question number eight in the same 12 D says X squared minus nine X minus 22. So it. Okay. The factors of 22 are one, 2, 11, and 22. Is that understood? Yeah. Look at all these values, the ones which, when you add them together, I mean, when you subtract them from one another, can give you 9 is 2 and 11. So you're going to give one of them negative, which, which is going to have a negative yeah. 11, isn't it? Because you've got a, a negative 9. So you will say the factors are, uh, factors are, <clears throat> the factors will be 2 and negative 11. It's pretty easy. x plus 2 and x minus 11. Is that understood? Yeah. Now again, try number 4. Number 4, the same uh, 12d, it says x squared plus, or well, not, it's pretty easy. Don't do it, don't leave it. It's okay, you're going to get it. 
Let's try someone, something difficult. No. Let's try number seven. Number seven says x squared. No, it's, it's simple. Let's try number six. <laughs> we tried. We did number six? Yeah. What about number 10? What about number nine? There's a number nine. X squared minus 2x minus 35. Yes, solve it. The process. You say the factors of 35 are 1, 5, 7, what was it again? And 35, All right? <clears throat> are we correct? Okay, so the numbers are five and seven. So you're going to give negative to the largest number. You're going to say the factors are five and negative seven. So you're going to have x plus five, x minus seven. Now, uh, the last one, solve, solve number two. Number two is x squared plus x minus 20. <clears throat> oh. They are one, two, four, five, 10, and 20, right? Yeah. So the ones which is one number, uh, the which difference is one is four and five, right? Mm -hmm. So you're gonna say, which one are you gonna give negative? Uh, five. Why do you give five negative? Because it is the number. No. If you're going to give five negative, then it's going to be negative x. And I will give it to four, sorry. You give, you're going to give it to four. Because why? Because it's positive. So you're going to say the factors are minus four and plus five. Please don't get confused. Okay. Is that understood? Yes, so you're going to say x plus five, x minus four. Now you're gonna do the last one before we move on. So for number five, number five says x squared plus two x minus 15. Consider it. Okay, the factors of 15, they are one, three, five, and 15 itself, right? Mm -hmm. So you got three and five. So because the number is positive, so the addition is positive, then you will say, well, you will say negative three and positive five, isn't it? Yes. X minus three, then X plus five. Okay, I think we should move on to the next stage. Now the next stage is the same factorization, but now it's getting complex, right? Yeah. So it says factorize number one says factorize that's uh, 12e. It says factorize x squared plus 9x plus 14. Now the same process, look for the factors of 14. What are they? Is one and 14. Now, how do you want to help yourself? Think. How can you help yourself? Is there any way out? Mm -hmm. 1 and 14. So you don't jump to the last one. This is a problem you would make, you will give to yourself. Whenever you're working out, make sure you start with the one, the simplest, the next, then the next. So it's going to be one, going to be two, it's going to be seven, it's going to be then 14. If you find, if you're trying to find the factors and you see that none of this, oh, if you're trying to find the factors and none of the factor is equivalent to this, then no, you're wrong. In math, it's either you don't, it's either you don't, it's either, it's either the question is wrong or you want to use, they want you to divide it with a negative, with, 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 um, with the remainder. And that would be pretty difficult for your level. Oh. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. It, happens, it happens in higher grades, but for your grade, it's simplified.
So if you're finding a factor and the factors you found cannot be added together or subtracted from one another, I mean added together to get this, then you should know you're wrong. You understood? Yes. You have to do the factor factorization again. So the factors are two and seven, isn't it? So it's gonna be x squared, sorry. Uh, the factors of uh, 9s, they are 2 and 7, right? Positive, positive. We're going to give it s squared. We're going to give it x minus 2. x plus 2. x plus 7. Is that understood? Okay. <clears throat> Let's go to the next one. Another one is number eight. As I said, 12e. Number eight says x squared minus 15x plus 26. Now, so this place. Question number eight. x squared minus 15x plus 26 and said if you have a positive 26 the factors can either be positive and positive or negative and negative if you're trying positive and positive for this and it's correct you have when well, if it's not correct for this then you try negative and negative now the factors of 26 are they are 1 2 13 and 26 itself isn't it so if you want to try positive and positive, it's going to work out for 26, but it's not going to work out for 15. Uh, we should put both of them negative. Both of them negative. Is understood? It's going to be x. It's going to be, the factors will be negative 2 and negative 13. So it's going to be x minus 2, x minus 13. Is that understood? Yeah. Because negative plus negative is going to give negative. Negative 2 plus negative uh, 13 is cost negative 15. Is that understood? Yeah. Case. Do not always look at one side. Try to uh, uh, adopt different styles. Now let's try again number uh, 16. Number 16 says x, x squared minus 11x plus 13. What are the... Whenever you want to find a factor of something, start with the simplest number. The simplest number is 1, 2. Whenever is an even number. Any even number will have a factor of 2. Then 3. 4 can never divide it. Then 5. Well, if you write in 5, okay, 5 times what is 30? 6. Okay, why did you leave 6 alone? You know what I'm saying? So then you move to the next one, you move to 10. 10 times 3 is 30. The next one is um, 15. 15 times 2. Then the next one is 30 itself. 30 times 1. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. From here, 5 times 6, look at it, 5 times 6. 3 times 10. 2 times 15. 1 times 30. It's just like this, like, I marry you, I marry you, I'll marry you, and I marry you. The two ones, the first, the last, the two ones are closer to one another, marry one another. Then the next ones, the next ones, and the next ones. You understood? Yeah. Math is fun. You understood? Yeah. yeah. It's fun. So now we've been able to see the factors is five and what and six since the what since the addition is negative and the uh, multiplication is positive then we can use double what double negative yeah, yeah. is understood so you're going to be x minus five x minus six okay now you would do number 21 it says x squared plus 11 plus 24. 
That one is pretty easy. And number 22 says x squared minus 11x minus 42. <clears throat> See, like I said, told you, the factors of 34 are uh, 1, they are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, and 24 itself. So, and in all of this, if you look at, if you look at uh, 4, 6, it's not going to give 11, 8, 3 would give 11, right? It's going to be x plus 3, x plus 8. Now, for this, the factors are 1, 2, 3. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, six, seven. Six, seven, 14, 14, 14 21, and 42. Now, the two values we're going to use are 3 and 14. Since you've got this to be negative, that is to say one of them will be negative. One of them will be negative. And since the number you have here is also negative, the largest one is going to be negative. But if the number you have here is positive, then the smaller one will be positive, will be negative. Oh. Is that understood? Yeah. If the number you have here is positive, the smaller one will be negative. Okay. But if the number you have here is negative, then I mean the largest, the larger one is negative, then it's going to give you what? It's going to give you minus 14 and what? And 3. Okay. Is that understood? Yeah. It's going to give you x minus 14 x plus 3. Is that understood? Okay. Now let's try number 20, number 20. The same uh, 12e. Number 20 says x squared minus 12x minus 28. It's pretty easy. I told the 1 is always a factor. If, it's, if, if the number is even number, 2 is always a factor. 3 if the number is not something that has to do with nine, six, three, it's very impossible for three to go. Yeah. So just ignore it. Then the next one is, since it's this, it's a four. Four times, what is 28? Four times, 30 times seven, 21. Four times seven, 28, right? You have four, keep your seven far. Hello. You know why? Because, Sorry. Sorry, sir. How are you, sir? It's time for Salah? Yeah, I'm back, sir. Okay. You're saying more. Yeah, I'm, I'm almost done. I think I have uh, I have five more minutes. Hello. Yeah, no. yes, if you want to give me more. Yeah, we will give you more on Friday. Friday. Yeah, on Friday, inshallah. Fine, fine. So, because it's... Now, the fact is, you keep a seven or four. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can still have something else in between the... If there's nothing, then okay. Think about this is the way to think about it. If there's nothing in between, then you think about what you multiply by two to give to an eight. Then that's 14. Then what you multiply by one to give it to an eight, that's what? That's 28 itself. Ah, okay. you understood? Mm -hmm. So then what you do is say, let me repeat my words again. If you want to find a factor, write one. Right, two, three cannot go in this, never. Is that understood? Mm -hmm. Then you give four times seven is 28. Then remember to write a four. Give space in case you can see how five, six, seven. There's nothing five, six is not, is not possible. Yeah. Once you've been able to see that these two numbers will be multiplied to give it 28, then there's nothing after. After the what, then you look for what would you multiply together to give you what, to give it 28. It's going to be what? It's going to be 14. Then what would you multiply together to give it uh, 28 by? What would you multiply by 1 to give it 28? Is 1 is 28 itself, right? Yeah. Then this is how to find factors. Then what you do is you're going to say this is 14 and this is 2, right? And we've got negative here. So that means one has to be negative and the other, the other one has to be positive. 
So what you do is you would say, because this is negative also, that means the largest one will be negative. So it's gonna be what is gonna be positive two and negative uh, 14. So it's gonna be x plus two, x minus uh, 14. Is that understood? So your own work would be number nine, 10, 11, 12. Own work is nine, 10, 11, and 12. Hmm? I need to get to me quicker. Okay. You understand? 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay. 9, 10, 11, 12. So we'll stop here. And I will continue from there on the next month, inshallah. Sure. Okay. Well,